after the meeting. And everything is in the public domain. So, just conclude, Senator. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal to the young Senator from Migori. Don't appeal. Just proceed to conclude your yes. remarks. That if, if we must defend certain positions, let us defend them reasonably. I've already told him that, Senator. Thank Boy, you. Just proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we worked so hard to form this government. You and I and many others, we were not working hard so as to allow people in office, people who would then, Mr. Speaker, be tiptoeing in and out of office. We wanted people to stamp their authority so that our women, in fact, I believe, uh, what is the name of, uh, yes, Senator Gloria, I think she's the youngest in the house. She should be appointed the minister in the place of this uh, mama who doesn't have any idea of how important it is to appear before this house. Oh, Miraj is the youngest. She was quarreling with me, that's why I did not. <laughs> If you're done, kindly take your seat. Senator Enoch <laughs> Wambua. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I, I stand to condemn in the strongest terms possible this trend that is actually gaining root in this house that um, a cabinet secretaries decide whether to attend committee meetings or plenary and they know somehow that they can get away with it. Mr. Speaker, I have argued elsewhere and I want to argue here that we are the people, we are the leaders to give this house the dignity that is due to it. And it will not happen Mr. Speaker if we entertain a situation where honorable senators wake up early on Wednesday morning fully aware that they are coming to interact with cabinet secretaries on matters related to dockets that these cabinet secretaries had. And out of three, not a single CS shows up. The speaker, in, in other jurisdictions, something would give. In other jurisdictions, the speaker, the chair would stamp the authority of this house and demand that if there is a cabinet secretary within the boundaries of this country, they must appear before this house in the next 30 minutes, and that would happen. The Speaker, this, this casual way of dealing with the Senate, and, and we are not even overreaching our mandate as a Senate. The Constitution, not even our standing orders, the Constitution is very clear. Article 153, on the decisions, responsibility, and accountability of the Cabinet. It is stated very clearly in, in black and white that a cabinet secretary, I'm reading verbatim, Article 153.3, that a cabinet secretary shall attend before a committee of the National Assembly or the Senate when required by the committee and answer any question concerning a matter for which the cabinet secretary is responsible. Mr. Speaker, that statement is explicit as explicit can get. The decision by the cabinet secretary for Rhodes, that's where I'm going to begin, because I have two questions that are listed for a response from the CS responsible for Rhodes. Mr. Speaker, the CS for Rhodes knows very well, whatever he is, that the matters that I'm raising those questions are matters that he addressed himself to when he was a senator in this house representing El Geo Maraquet. Now he is a CS, he can make a decision 
on the composition of the people from Kibwezi all the way to Mwingi, persons affected by a road project, and he just decides to stay away. 